Hi folks, it's me again, the Piano Man. And guess who I'm going to talk about today? <laughs> That's right, Stefan Molyneux. Or as I sometimes like to call him, the Talking Coconut. But let's start at the beginning when I stumbled across this. What pisses me off about old people. So, PewDiePie made some videos that uh, some people found to be in bad taste and unfunny and possibly offensive, and I think one of those people turned out to be PewDiePie himself, and there was quite a kerfuffle and quite a hubbub, but I think, with all due respect, <laughs> everyone seems to be missing the basic point. I mean, come on, guys, I mean, do you forget what it's like to be young? Well, for anyone who's never heard of PewDiePie, here he is in action. Hey, how's it going, Travis? It's PewDiePie again. Basically, it's just this very amusing young guy fooling around and having fun. But it seems he offended some folks over some Nazi content. So Molyneux decided to do a 21-minute video in his defense and blame the baby boomers. The boomers would have to show that they care about the young in order to lecture them about, Oh, PewDiePie, you shouldn't make these jokes, that's offensive. PewDiePie dressed in a silly uniform looking at a screen. That's offensive. Madness. You, know, you understand from the youth standpoint, it's like, what the hell? What is your major malfunction? Older people? Older people? Older people? You are looking dangerously ridiculous. <laughs> I agree, Steph. Looking ridiculous. To hell with you, society. Oh, you're just living in your parents' basement. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of society did you make where young people are trapped in the basement of their parents' house? Okay, Stefan, the stage is yours. Oh my god, the cold-hearted people, cold-hearted, selfish, virtue-signaling people. Where the hell do you think you get the moral authority to lecture the young? So he's now a champion of the young. What a hypocrite. Remember the young guy who asked a simple question? What are Donald Trump's biggest flaws? That is from Derek. Allow me to explain something. Okay, you okay, created- Okay, you gotta doctor. stop doing that. That is so annoying. What? I'm not preventing you from doing anything. Okay. Oh, allow me to do this, allow me to do that. It's just, like I'm a, it's some just sort an of expression. Bullet. It's just an expression. No, no, don't, don't okay. use it. It's, okay. it's offensive. Don't lecture people about telling the truth, and being honest and having integrity, and then pull the kind of crap that you do. If you want, look, if you want to lecture the youth on morality, listen. I, I do it. Yeah, like the kid who said that you get too carried away and you should not be so aggressive to your callers. And then you became aggressive. When you at 21 come to me at 50, who've been doing this for 34 years and you've maybe been doing it for a couple of years, I'm running the largest and most successful philosophy show, but you at the age of 21 know how to make it even bigger and better. Do you know how many people have watched that Muslim Ben show? Probably about a million. Oh, I'm a lot smarter than you, boy. I don't want it to be my will versus your will because, as the song says, the old get old and the young get stronger, right? So you don't want to be trying to impose your will. The youth don't feel that the old care about them. The, the young don't feel that they have a, they're of any priority within society. So you have to show that you care about people. That's right. Unless, of course, they're starting to win the argument. Okay, I'm done. Moving on that's, to the next call. Not... Thanks very much for your call. It was really enjoyable, but I am so done. I am done like yesterday's dinner. All right, who's up next? If Mike? people don't feel that you care about them, lecturing them on morality is ridiculous. Look, old people, old people, old people. You want to instruct the young? It's not that complicated. If you want to instruct the young, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go back in time and be immeasurably better people. What? Oh, sorry, is it too late for that? Do you, do you like the technology to do that? Then at least have the humility to stop lecturing the young and step aside. Wow, Mr. Angry. But something troubled me. Why would Molyneux rush to the defense of this guy? They've got absolutely nothing in common. You have 39 million subscribers, right? To your YouTube channel. Yep. He's got a lot of fans, but not 35 million. That was a while back. He's now up to 54 million. Is it possible that Molyneux was trying to get some of the action? They're called brood parasites, and they lay their eggs in other animals' nests. And I'm going to use every trick in the book uh, to win. Now look at the comments on Molyneux's video. PewDiePie just shared your video on Twitter. And he also liked the video. That is great. Imagine this video going viral. And, oh, oh no. 
Well, at least you tried, Stefan. But listen, man, what are you doing? I mean, you claim to be an intellectual, but hanging around with people like PewDiePie is only going to destroy your credibility. You don't want to let that happen. Get back to what you're good at. Terrorist attacks. And don't say you've done them all because there's one you didn't do. Yes, the slaughter of six innocent people by a white terrorist right there on your doorstep. Maybe it slipped your mind. And look, one of them was a university professor. <laughs> that can't be right. Hey, that's another show you could do. The truth about fraudulent Muslim professors. Now I've put some clips together just to let you see what it might look like. Take a look. Hi everybody, this is Stefan Molyneux from Free Domain Radio. Murdered six men. Thomas D. Messier has claimed the attacker had no links to international terrorism. It was a bloodbath. I don't understand what the problem is. I don't understand what the problem is, people. We have really one job in this world, and that job is to fight evil. Now, wasn't that easy? It's called True News. And you could do it if you just put your mind to it. So forget about trying to capture the young, because it's never going to happen, Steph. Especially when you use musical references like this. The old get old and the young get stronger. Jesus, man, that's so yesteryear. Yep, you were once young yourself, but now you are one of the old people. Maybe it's time for you to step aside. Till the next time, so long, man.